Are you ready for some football, some playoff football, that is? Because in just over a week, the playoffs will be here, and the Detroit Lions will be in their first playoff game at Ford Field after winning their first NFC North title ever. And I have a familiar face that I believe is going to some way, somehow find its way back to Detroit. And it's all shaping up very nicely. This came earlier today that Matthew Stafford is going to sit out and Carson Wentz is going to get the start. But in addition to Matthew Stafford, uh, Kyron Williams, the running back, Cooper Cup, they're a fantastic receiver. Aaron Donald is out as well. And no word on Puka Nakua if he's going to be out. That would be weird to have him play. He is a rookie, though. A phenomenal rookie, but right now, according to Adam Schefter, he is not going to be out. But Matthew Stafford is going to be out. Now, this is happening for a number of reasons. The, the reason is to set up this showdown with the Detroit Lions. And it's going right now, the Detroit Lions are the number three seed. They cannot be any worse than that. The LA Rams can be worse than the six seed. They can lose and drop down to number seven. They cannot miss out on the playoffs. They have clinched at least the number seven seed. So either way it go, there's only two spots open in the NFC, the winner of the a NFC South and also whoever comes in and slides in the Packers, the it, there's a crazy way the Vikings can get in, the Saints can get in, the, the Atlanta Falcons are still alive. But somehow, some way, the NFL is trying to get Matthew Stafford back to the Detroit Lions. And now, as far as you know, playing at Ford Field. And now that is probably going to shape up in one way or another. Now, I had done a scenario for my other channel about ways that I could see the Matthew Stafford returning to the Detroit Lions. And just for the sake of this video, I'll bring it in, in as well. There's one scenario. And the one scenario here is that the Lions go ahead and, and win the game against the Minnesota Vikings. The Eagles wind up losing, and the Washington Commanders wind up beating the Dallas Cowboys. That would give the Detroit Lions the second seed. Now, for the LA Rams to drop from 6-7, to seven, they would need to obviously lose against the 49ers, the Green Bay Packers. I think they need to beat the Chicago Bears and the Seattle Seahawks. They need a lot of help to win and get in. But there's a way here that you can see that we match up here. Now, there is another scenario as well that we meet later down the line. The Detroit Lions, they are not able to get to the second seed, but the L.A. Rams don't stay at number six. They drop to number seven. We play the Green Bay Packers. We beat them. The L.A. Rams upset the Dallas Cowboys on the road. That's going to be a tough task, but we've seen other things happen. That would send the 40, the 49ers would host the L.A. Rams. The Detroit Lions would host the winner of these two games, whichever one won this game. The Detroit Lions beat this team. L.A. beats the San Francisco 49ers. Another tall task, Goliath task, right? And uh, then we meet up in the NFC title game. One way or another, they are trying to get Matthew Stafford back to Detroit as long as they can help it. They being the NFL. If they can't help it, it's very similar to last season. If you remember, the Detroit Lions needed the LA Rams to beat the Seattle Seahawks because the Seattle Seahawks beat the Detroit Lions earlier in the season. It was so many egregious missed calls, no calls, the most ridiculous things that favored the Seahawks. That game goes to overtime, and the Seahawks win in overtime, which eliminates the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions then need to eliminate the Green Bay Packers or beat the Green Bay Packers for the Seattle Seahawks to be able to get in, and the NFL did not expect that to happen. So there's how that thing is playing. I don't understand. Well, actually, I do. Because if Stafford gets hurt in, in this game, then there's no way that he comes to Detroit. Then the Rams playing Detroit with a hurt Matthew Stafford is not what the NFL wants to see. So anyway, those are my thoughts, man. The Detroit Lions will be seeing Matthew Stafford one way or another. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself, and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.